Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So, today, I wanted to talk to you ladies about why I don't shop tall girl brands. And the main reason is I never had to. <laughs> so, when I was in New York, I'll be honest with you, I never shop tall girl brands. What I used to do was I used to pretty much go ahead and just find like longer pants um, and that's it. Never really thought about the tops being too short at the sleeves or anything like that. Um, back then, a friend of, friend and I used to always go to West 4th, um, which is in the village, and we would get things altered. So it was not something that I did back then. And now, I'm really not going to do it because... Personally, I don't like the quality of the stuff. So this video is pretty much about me making regular brand clothes work for my tall frame. <laughs> so I did a video about the brands that I shop. So when I'm shopping these brands, guys, I honestly, I'll be honest with you, I don't really think about my height so much. So I'm in the stores. I'm grabbing things, you know, I'm looking at it, I put it back if I don't feel like it'll fit. I don't really get caught up in my height, and the reason why is because I think I can get really discouraged if I did. So I'll give you an example. These leather pants right here, well these are faux leather pants. I got these from ALC, and ALC, I'm going to show you the whole thing, well the bottom. ALC had a lot of room to bring down the bottom of the pants. They were cuffed more than this. So what my tailor did was, she just brought them down for me, right? She brought them down for me here. Um, and I love these pants. Well, let me not say I love them. <laughs> They're nice. <laughs> They're okay, because they ripped the first time I wore them. And, and I'm not even big guys, they're size 10 and they have stretch. They're, they're full of them. So, they don't cater to tall women. However, their pants were actually long. This is why I always say reading late, reading the product details and stuff is always a good idea to do as a tall woman. It's just something that we should, we should just get into the routine of doing, period. Like we should always read those product details, look at the model's height and go from there. I also have, I didn't do a video yet on these. I have a couple of things that I didn't do a video on. But I got these. These are from Banana Republic. And, and these are actually a tall, these are a 30 tall. Um, they're not gonna be as long as those. However, they're going to hit me right where I need them to wear a cute pair of pumps. So, if you guys are interested in these, they make these were on sale too for like the low low. If you guys are interested, that's the name of them. So, they're coated pants. Um, I have a red pair from Seven Jeans, and I already know I don't really like how they're fitting me at the bottom. They're supposed to be three quarter, but they're not three quarter on me. So, I am going to get creative with those. And have my tailor put some leather um, leather pieces on the bottom, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So I, I just I make those things work for me. You guys know I bought some sweatpants from this is what's her name? Chloe Kardashian, Good American. These are super long. Her pants are long. I believe Chloe's like a 5'10 also. I think she's 5'10. She's a 5'9 5'10. I think she's 5'10. But her stuff are long. This is the only pants that I've, I bought this in another color from her. So I make brands, regular brands work for me. Tops and stuff. I can still go to Zara. Zara is a place that I can go back in the day. I don't know if you guys know this, but way, way back in the day, Zara used to never go past a size 10, okay? And I was just making it, and this was in New York, so this was, this was years, years ago. 
They didn't even go past a size 10. Now they have like plus size, which is amazing. However, again, like I said before, I think plus size folks have it way better because they are brands that cater to them. For us, we don't have it like that. So Zara blazes and stuff, I can still get away with without necessarily altering the sleeves if I don't want to. So it like this blazer is made in Spain. So you guys can't really see the color of this, but this is like a pretty, almost like a Kelly green. I guess you could say Kelly green. It doesn't look like that on camera, but I don't have to alter the sleeves. But if I wanted to, I could, and I'm gonna show you where, why. So it has room here, there's enough room, there's this much room for my tailor to come in and alter the sleeves for me, okay? Another brand is Koss. I buy things from Koss. Um, maybe not so much the pants, but more of the tops. So again, I make these brands work for me because I just don't necessarily feel like being frustrated, one, trying to find brands that cater to us. Like it's hard. Plus size, petite, I, um, I know you guys have it so much easier than tall women because I'm a stylist and I see it all the time. And I think another reason why I don't get frustrated is because I've always been into clothes and coming from New York, I just never had time to be worried about things fitting me or not. I just made it work if I had to alter it or not because I like to dress and look nice. So that's why I actually don't really gear towards tall brands. I wish brands did cater to us it would be great but they don't um so as of today the brands that they do have that do have a tall section you can't even get it in store guys like it's so hard but you can't even get it in store and this is when i this is when i this is when i actually have a problem because i feel like if you're gonna carry plus size if you're gonna carry tall um petite Everything should be in the store just like regular clothes, right? Regular sizes. Don't start to, you know, push other people to the side. Put it in the store. You know, there are women who like extra long pants. So, I don't know. I wish these brands would do a better job at that. But for my tall ladies, 5'8 and up. But I know the struggle really starts at maybe 5'9, five, 5'10 five, and up. Try not to allow your height to hinder you from being stylish or even trying to, uh, when you're shopping, like let, don't let it frustrate you because it can easily, easily happen. And for me, I don't let it get to me. Um, like I said, I'll just alter something if I really needed to or I just won't get it. It ain't that serious. Like, and I've said this before, like we can't necessarily always jump on every trend um because those designers are not catering to us they yeah they're not catering to us they're catering to the girl who was their model and that's it so for me it's not really a big deal but i want women to understand and know that you can definitely get creative menswear okay i'm not really big on menswear I may start diving into it um, because <laughs> their cuts are nice too. Like they have European cuts that will look really, really nice on women. Um, and I just know like the oversized look is in. However, even though it's oversized, it still may fit us different because we're tall. Um, and shoot, they are in the women's section anyway. So <laughs> why can't we step on over to their side? But that's it guys. I just wanted women to know that as a tall woman, a tall teen, a small, you know, uh, young adult, um, whole full adult or older woman, you don't necessarily have to shop at tall brands to be stylish, guys. Because I don't do it all the time. I make the stuff work for me without even skipping a beat. Like, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't take me out of my way. Something don't fit. I just don't get it. Like, I don't even worry about it. I don't get upset because <laughs> I can't change anything about my height. So... Just a quick little chit chat on why I don't really care for the tall girl brands and how I make regular brand stuff work for me. 
I'll probably pop in some photos here and there about some things that I have on so you guys can see from like old stuff. If not, um, you guys will see another actual video. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CocoStylesNY.com. Sorry, NY. <laughs> that is my business page, Coco Styles NYC. And Coco Styles, that's my personal page. And CocoStyles.com is my styling website. And Coco Styles NYC is my blog. You guys know. If you guys have any ideas for blog titles and stuff, let me know. I pump them out every two weeks now. I may go back to every week again. Maybe. Um, because I have so much stuff going on. Just time doesn't permit for it. But I still want to put out quality content, guys. So let me know what you guys think. And for those of you who are new, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.